ready to leave, I see. How long will you be gone? Well, a couple of days, uh, three to be exact. Everything's ready, I think. The fridge is full. The apartment's all yours. Good. And let me see. You don't want to stay in a hotel or anything, do you? Maybe... No, no, I'll be fine. You're not going to change anything too drastically, are you? Uh... I've always said what this place needs is a woman's touch. What I mean is you're not going to, you know, knock down any walls or anything like that. Uh... You miss your plane, Harry. Okay. I'll see you, uh... Thursday. Uh -huh. Have a nice trip. Mr. Rue's residence. Hello? Who is it, Suki? Hung up. Your Honor, gentlemen of the jury, I have to inform you of a slight delay. I crave your patient indulgence. I'll get it, Suki. Hello? Hello? Denise's walk.
I want you to listen to me. When you came in, you tripped an alarm. It's connected to the telephone. The police will be on their way. Go while you can. They'll be here in a few minutes. Oh. Mr. Rue? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Gentlemen of the jury, the accused! The court will come to order. Judge Fairfield presides. My lord, gentlemen of the jury, the prosecution will prove how the accused, whom you all see clearly before you, how the accused. Oh, Silence. Silence. You are not Silence. Silence. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? I know you. You're Grant, you're Colin Grant. Colin George Grant. You murdered... I sentence you to life in prison. You smashed that woman's skull to pulp. I gave evidence. You gave evidence? You destroyed a man. You destroyed Colin Grant. Destroyed him! Does the accused wish to make an opening statement? What are you going to do? No opening statement. You hear that, members of the jury? The accused does not wish to make an opening statement at this time, no matter. We will proceed. Inspector, what do you have? Mr. Boucher? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Somebody broke in through a downstairs window. Apparently the contessa was alone. So you saw a car? Yes. Where? I... I asked, where did you see this car? On the edge of the wood. You were driving past and you saw a car? Yes. And remember the number? Yes. Are you asking us to believe that one week, seven days later, you were able to remember the number of a car that you saw for a fleeting second as you drove past? Yes. And you gave this number to the police? 
Grant, you're unwell. Untie me, please. Gave the number to the police. Out of our own mouth, gentlemen. The car was traced, of course. The man was apprehended. The sentence, life. Rest of your natural life! They would have caught you anyway. I think this might be a good time to take a short adjournment. The court will rise. They'll find you guilty. You haven't got a hope. <laughs> We'd look at their faces. You can always tell by their faces. There's no doubt about the identification? No, the designer was absolutely sure. It was Grant who attacked him, all right. When did he escape? Four days ago. Criminally insane, a psychopath. Could be anywhere. Good morning. Morning, gentlemen. We have heard how the accused drove along the A426 and stopped his car about a mile past the village near a stretch of common land. What happened next? Answer the question, Grant. Colin George Grant. You are charged that you did murder Mary Louise Cooper on the 10th of August last. Answer the question, Grant! I... No, I can't. Can't. Accused can't answer the question. I shall answer it for him. The woman, Mary Cooper. How long have you known her? Uh, listen to How me. How long? A week? Yes. Two weeks? Yes. Over two weeks? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know for three weeks, isn't that so? Please. Three weeks? Yes. Three short weeks? Yes, yes, yes! Did you love your mother? Yes. She died. Yes, she died when you were ten. Gentle, soft hands. Soothing hands. I have a headache, Mother. My head is bursting. Try to understand. When you're young, when someone, a loved one, dies, nothing can ever replace the love, but 
The wound will heal. You must try and let it heal. I have tried. <laughs> now we're really getting somewhere. Now we're really getting at the truth. We walked deeper and deeper into the wood. A uh, woman keeps on talking, 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 talking. She wouldn't stop talking. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached your verdict? Anything? No. Still no lead. Phone back on? Yeah. It's been fixed for quite a while. The sentence is life. The rest of your natural life. Locked in a cell. Year after year after year. Mind rejects. Rejects the idea of it. The finality of it. Death is the one chance of relief. Death, the one way to freedom. I'm going to release you. I'm going to set you free. wish this court to hear an appeal? Yes. On what grounds? <laughs> New evidence? Yes. A surprise witness? Yes. A surprise witness? Who is this late comer? Can this person throw any light on the case in hand? Don't you know what you're doing is wrong? Wrong? It's in the woods after you... Well, when it was over, didn't you even feel sorry? Sorry? Why should I be sorry? It had to be done! That's what they couldn't understand. The reasons why I had to do it. Then tell me, Grant. E explain to me. She would have understood. But she was... Oh, the surprise witness! Hence demands the surprise witness. Call the surprise witness! Excuse me.
tell them. Tell them why I did it. I did it for you. Safe now. Anything at all, dear? 